It's official, the Batman has been given a PG-13 rating. I was expecting this movie to get an R rating given how dark it looked going by the trailers, but Matt Reeves is known for pushing the PG-13 rating. Just look at his two Apes movies, and before that he made R-rated films. So yeah, there you have it. Originally I wanted the movie to have an R rating, but then after I saw the first proper trailer when the movie had finished shooting, I didn't mind that it got a PG-13 because the movie looks like it's drenched in darkness. And just look at the description for why it has gotten a PG-13 contains strong violence and disturbing content, drug content, strong language, and some suggestive material. Now normally you would hear moderate violence or mild violence and mild bad language, but when do you hear a PG-13 movie having strong violence and strong language and disturbing content? Especially in a PG-13 comic book movie, and apparently some insiders were saying that Warner Brothers were very nervous about how dark this movie is, and they have released movies like Christopher Nolan's Batman films and Batman vs Superman before, so if this one was so dark that it actually got them nervous, then wow, I can't wait to see just how dark the movie is going to be, especially if it's so dark that it had studio heads shaking in their seats. And seeing as it's written and directed by Matt Reeves, who is one of my favourite filmmakers, I have confidence that he will be able to expertly utilise the rating for the movie and push it to its limits. I mean, the only other comic book movie to have disturbing content was Joker, and that film was rated R. Again, when does a PG-13 movie get classed as having disturbing content? I mean, even Robert Patterson has expressed how surprised he was that they were able to do what they did and still get a PG-13 rating. So I have no doubt that the rating will be pushed to its fullest, especially when you take into account that this is supposed to be the scariest Batman movie. This movie, I think, is probably the scariest Batman that's been done because the idea of what Batman is doing is actually, it's scary. And actually, the connection between him and the rogues gallery, like the Riddler in this story, he's very scary. For those that are disappointed that the film is not rated R, don't worry about it. Remember, PG-13 ratings can be used very well, such as Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, Fox's X-Men films, and the Raimi and Mark Webb Spider-Man films. The MCU gave PG-13 comic book movies the immature reputation that the rating has got. I mean, come on, why would Ant-Man and the Wasp get rated PG-13? That's totally a PG movie, so I can totally understand why the PG-13 rating has lost credibility. But all you have to do is look at past movies and their use of the PG-13 rating, and you will agree that the PG-13 rating is still perfectly well suited towards a very dark and gritty Batman movie. Now it's just a waiting game to see what rating the Batman gets in the UK, and if the rating does go to a 15 instead of a 12, I hope Warner Brothers don't cut the movie to bring it down to a 12 rating. So yeah, the Batman has been rated PG-13. Be sure to comment below with your thoughts on this guys, I would really like to know what you guys think. And stay tuned for my The Batman review and versus video when the film comes out. And don't forget to give this video a like, and be sure to share the video as well. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it if you haven't already, so you have a bigger chance at staying up to date with my future videos. And I will see all of you very soon. Take care.